7, we are currently outside the Wutai area because we took Yuffie off for an adventure of a lifetime and managed to grab us a whole load of equipment for her, made away up the pagoda. She's now like the hero of Wutai or something silly like that. I don't know exactly what personal story based um, perks she gets, but there, there are a lot of things. But there's also something else we forgot to do for Yuffie. We, we nearly managed it. We really, really nearly managed it, but there's a thing that we need to do in this submarine. We, we went out here last time, and indeed, the, you guys may remember, let me just change the way that the map's orientated. You may remember there is a special thing over this way. The special thing, of course, is the giant airship Galinka. Uh, is that, is this where I want to be? Is this actually where I want to be? I think this is where I want to be. Let's, let's, let's go down and have a look. Yeah, this is, this is where we want to be, because inside here, we have a little cave. Now, what's going on over there? Great. That's where we want it to be. Uh, the thing I was worried about is sometimes Emerald Weapon is hanging out down here. So we've got to be a little bit careful about that. Just a little bit. Okay, can we can we go in there? No? Can we turn around this way? Maybe you'll let us in like this? There. Yeah, there we go. All right, awesome. We have a little dock up. And there were, <coughs> you may remember that we were here before. Yes, indeed. And this is a scary place. Like, this is this is a super, super, super scary place. But I don't know if you can see top left of my screen right now. There's that little shiny thing. We missed that on the way in last time. It's another chest like this. Oh, yes. But this up here, this has what I thought we were going to get from Wutai. The Conformer. Uh, let's, let's go and have a look at what this is. We can go equip and we come down to Yuffie. It's a weapon used there. You can see Conformer. It, um, it has no growth, so I'm not going to be using it right now. But it does enable us to make full powered attacks when trying to do a morph with Yuffie. Which I, I'm not sure if you guys quite understand the relevance of that. Uh, almost every monster in the game can be transformed using the morph command into an item. Now most of the time it's just like potions, X potions, a little bit of ether. You know, all useful stuff, but not like the most important stuff in the world. But there are a few times where it is super important. Down in the Galinka itself, there is um, a, a thing that we need. Uh, we got to try and find a ghost ship. It's, it's a, bo a mob boss. Uh, and we need to try and morph it into the, the guidebook, I believe. And that's so we can like do a special quest bit for one of the, one of the guys. But we've done that. Now let's move on somewhere else. Now you may remember last time... When we got the when we got the submarine, indeed, when we got the submarine, that music's great, but I, I want to be down here. Uh, we we came up and we pulled into this bay, and they were like, "Hey guys, everybody needs to go to Junyun because they're moving the the uh, master material, the, ma the massive material, the huge material." There we go. That's that's why I was looking for the huge material, and I was like, "Hey, it's no problem. We got the huge material, right?" Turns out, no. Turns out there was another piece of huge material out there. Uh, I, I didn't know. I wasn't aware. I, th I thought that we had it all. I thought three was going to be it. But no, no, no. We need to come all the way over to Junyun and be like, yo, dude, I need to go up here. And he's like, give me ten bucks. I'm like, ten bucks? Really? I'm walking around with several million on me and you're saying ten bucks? I don't know if it is several million. Should we have a look how much I've got? I can't press triangle and find out. It's not triangle. It's Y. Um, but I can't press the button and find out. Let let's do it on the inside here. Hello? No, look, listen. No menu button here. No menu screen here. Let's Let's just go up then. Well, that's crazy though. It won't let me access the menus from here. Also, crazy is the frame rate. Look at that. Trying to walk around with Cloud. It's like, oh, I'm just kind of walking ever so slowly. There's only like so many animation frames that can be run. What about now? Can I? I can't. I literally can't press menu right now. There we go. How much money do I have? 85,000. I mean, that's doing pretty well. That's doing pretty well. Yo, man, what's up? Finished loading the huge material. All we have to do now is ready the cargo ship Galinka for departure and we're done. Oh, the, oh this one's also called Galinka, which um, I can only assume is the class of ship as opposed to the actual name itself. Or we've done some huge, like, uh, sequence breaking. Now, we have a few things on the go here that I could probably point out. The first one is the fact that Yuffie has cover on her. Okay, so she's the one whose uh, limit break we're going to be trying to absolute oh oh don't don't take too many hits uh, that we're going to be trying to pump up here so every time she is ready to do the limit i'm going to do so and hopefully we can get her up to level three or four relatively quickly don't you be firing those missiles at me there are other things on the go as well like we've got like barriers and reflex and all this sort of stuff set up here uh cloud mostly set up for the double slash it has to be said uh tiffa you can see has cure regen and all this lot all regen sorry not regain 
You're gonna get me some gains, Ooh. Uh, and stuff like that. So that should be all good. Uh, as I say, Cloud has the barrier. Um, pe people have like the the standard setups ready to go. You can see here we've got Demi. We've also got Sleep. Why not? Haste and Slow. Like, these these are all things that sound like fun, right? Okay, let's just carry on attacking. Could have done with putting Yuffie's health up a little bit more there. I'm not sure how much it's going to go up after the end of battle. Uh, Chocobo leveled up. Ooh, that's pretty good. That, that's one of the things I wanted. So if we come in here, go to the material, let, let's swap him out. Oh, hello. There's two bits here I didn't do. But anyway, let's move out here. You can see that I've got the Power Soul still going for that double, double, double growth AP. That's that's amazing. Not double, double, double. Just, just double growth AP. So that, that's definitely what I'm after here. Uh, Titan, I'm just going to work my way up the list. Uh, eventually, we'll we'll master all of these. I mean, look, look at Leviathan. Not even been used once. Okay, Titan, here we go. Uh, also, let's let's have a look. What do, we, what do we want to do here? Yes, words. Words just fell out of my mouth there. What, 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 what do we want to do? I think we're going to go with the ice. And is there one we can go with? Ice all that. That sounds a little bit a little bit weak to me a little bit weak maybe a sense does she have a sense she's got some sense already uh stealing stealing's a thing uh, also there was another thing that i wanted to check out so we've got added cut and bahama i want to try that at some point but i've also got steel as well with double cut now i didn't see a still happen when he double cut so we'll we'll try and bear that in mind next time we'll try and bear that in mind next time if we do a double cut see if he steals I believe that's the ship we're supposed to be catching, or the plane, I suppose. It's the plane we're supposed to be catching. Is it an airship? Is it an airship? Are airships only blimps? I don't know. Are airships anything that goes in the sky? L let me know down below. What, where, do you, where do you guys fall on that comment? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right. Uh, we could go up there and be like, oh, no. But I think we're going to do it here. Oh, no. The huge materia. Can we go after it? Hey, where? Where, where are they headed? Rocket Town, of course. Of course. Why not? Where else would they be putting it? I mean, no one's actually told us Rocket Town. You guys are right over here. How's it going? Phew. I hope everything goes all right until we get to Rocket Town. Then our mission is nearly complete. Not so fast. We still have one major task. We still have to transport the stuff. You know, the stuff. Well, it's good that they've said about that. Um, probably could have done with... Like, the game giving me a, like, pointer to go and talk to them rather than just being like, yeah, let's go to Rocket Town for no particular reason. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to go Tiffa. I want to have a little bit of regen. Uh, and then Cloud, double cut. Let's see if we get a steal in. That, that's what I want to know. Are we going to steal at this point? That's one cut, two cut. No stealings. Okay, so we need to try and move that out of there and make it work with another thing. I don't need to do any of these. Let's just attack, shall we? Let's just attack. Tiffa got anything important? No, she's done a regen. Let's just carry on attacking. Yes, yes, yes. But I don't know what we're going to do. Mm, what we're going to do instead of the double cut with a, with a steal as well. What we're going to do instead? Because I kind of... I want to level up that steal as well. I think it would be a good idea. Oh, Tiff's got her limit break. Nice. Uh, she didn't get to do it, though. Oh, it's a little bit of a shame. A little bit of a shame. It's all right. Next guy we run into, I absolutely have their face pummeled. That's how that works, right? Uh, so, Materia down to Cloud. So, this is a thing that doesn't work as well. Steel as well, double cut. Um, added, I don't know. I mean, like, triple cut would be pretty good, but I don't think that's going to work. So, let's just drop this out. I really want it to go with something rough. Skill. I mean, I know. Hmm, what does it work with? Barrier. All we need that poison added effect. We don't need that, but I think it's good to have a poison sword. Uh, lightning. Ah, there we go. All right, we'll swap these out. That that seems like a good idea. Why is there? Hmm. Go there, and then you come up here, and then you go there. That was not what I wanted. Steel as well. Double cut. All. No, no, that's that's not going to work. Maybe uh, throw death blow. Let's go with death blow. That, that sounds like the plan. All right, so now that we've seen that, we're just off to Rocket Town, right? There's, there's nothing else to be done. Let's leave. Woo. Uh, down here and low frames. Give me my frames back. Like, I'm running this on a computer that is well over spec for this game. Like, what, what did the original PlayStation specs include? I'm sure it wasn't an i7. Almost. Uh, let me out of here. Come on. <laughs> All right, let, let's go. The, the only thing I don't like about this game is it's forced animations like this, which are... You know, they're kind of alright. I suppose it's what makes Dark Souls as good as it is. The fact that you have to deal with the animations. But, ah, uh, uh, I just want to get out. I just want to let me go. Alright, sweet. High wind. Off to Rocket Town, I suppose. Or oh, we could just fly at the meteor. I'm not sure which one's the better idea there. Okay, Rocket Town is somewhere over on this continent. It's got to be over these mountains and far, far away. We'll find a special place where the rockets play. 
I don't, I don't know where that came from. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's put that down and go for a run into Rocket Town. Yo, guys, what's going on? Sid's back. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Sid's back. Um, um, Tiffa, you're, you're, you're leaving the group, Tiff. I'm sorry. It's just going to have to be this way. Um, you, you just, you're not needed, but Sid is near. Oh, Sid, what's wrong with you, buddy? Oh, you look like you've had the uh, proverbial taken out of you. Uh, let's come over here. Oh, you're not set up for goodness, are you? Uh, what, what did Tiff have? No, not, not, not config. What did Tiffa have on her armor? That That's the, the thing I want to know here. The reason being is I want to just transfer all this over to Sid because he's got a four slot weapon up top and then he needs six conjoined slots down below. So let's try that. PHS. This is going to take a second or two, guys. I, I, I'm totally sorry about this. It, we, we could have done this much, much better in other manners. Uh, I just want to also do another thing. We're going to get a tent here. We're going to hyper all the way down. Okay, there's no, there's not actually really any point doing like Sid and Sid and Cloud as we just only want Yuffy but still okay what can we give him something with six double slots something with six double slots there's the six double slots crystal arm bangle that's probably the one we're gonna go for yeah we can't see anything better so that is what we're gonna do armlet luck tent amulet sorry luck tent I don't think so uh, poison protects against poison I mean that's pretty good berserk berserk stab protects against small I don't know what we're gonna be facing this is the problem here so I'm not sure what we would want protects against poison but I mean like poison would be pretty annoying but we can very quickly cure poison Fury and Sadness. No, I like being in Fury, if you don't mind. Frog Small, whatever. Sudden Death, Petrify, Slow Numb. I don't think we've ever... I don't think I've ever run into Slow Numb. Uh, sleep, maybe? Protection against Sleep? Draining water attacks. I don't think we're going to run into anything watery. Let's just give him some speed. Let's just give him some speed. All right, and then we go exchange. We go, hey, Tiffa, if you don't mind. And we come down to Sid. Okay, blop. Yeah, that's nice and simple. Yay. Does the Viper Halberd actually give us double growth? That's what I want to know. It does. Awesome. Okay, cool. With that, let's get going. Hey, Sid's back. How does everybody feel about this? Hey, man, what's going on? What young President Rufus do we get in all those mechanics together? I don't know. Why would you get mechanics around a rocket? What would what could possibly go down? The Shinra is serious about launching that piece of crap rocket. Why now? But why now? How about you? You're, you're pretty cool, man. There's a bunch of Shinra people here meshing with the rocket. Really? It's my rocket, all right? It's it's Sid's rocket. It don't. This is my rocket, all right? It's not. It's Sid's rocket. How dare you? How dare you? I think you have you have misplaced your place. No, <laughs> you've forgotten your place. That's the word I'm looking for. Yo, guys, what's going on, man? Mmm, a spectacle. A single spectacle, not a pair of spectacles, a single one, possibly more than I call it a monocle. Is something about to happen? I'm so excited. You guys cannot be here when this launches. You're aware of this, right? Like big, big flaming balls of explosion. Just, oh. Remember that these guys are stood here. Remember that they're stood here. Hey, the terrorists are here. That's from Avalanche, man. Don't, don't call me a terrorist. You've got a name. Got a name. Oh, where's Barrett? I want to be like, nom, nom, have lunch. <laughs> Alright, double cut. Let's see what goes with that. Uh, also, attack. I don't think we really need to worry too much about how we're going to fight these guys. Uh, I've got a feeling we're just going to, like, work our way up through all the all the, the rank and file of the Shinra troops. Bam. Done. It's, it's simple, man. You know, it's simple. Alright, let's just keep walking up this stair. Oh, actually, are we going to have any growth? No. Man, such tiny, tiny amounts of XP and stuff now. <laughs> Don't let them get any further. Everyone attack. In comes two people. <laughs> what? It's, it's silly. It's silly. They, they do that a lot in this game. Double cut. Attack. Attack. Don't, don't shoot him. <laughs> sleep. What? Oh, it turns out I did need sleep protect. What? It turns out I did need sleep protection. We're going to go and do that after this fight. Uh, that is a must. Well, as soon as this fight is done, I'm just going to hammer the menu button and see if we can't get these guys some sleep protection underway. The darkness is also a bit of a problem, um, but, you know, they've been in the music scene for a while now, so we'll see what's going on. Okay, double cut. Nice. Everybody dead. Nice. Nice. A de I mean, de dead. Dead. There's no, there's no nice about dead, is there? Let, let's be honest. Smine. Triangle, 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 menu, menu, menu. Erg, you're not going anywhere. Not nowhere. No, it turns out we can't menu. I was 
I must have pressed it about 20 times in that small little scene there, so... Alright, let's go! Attack! 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 That, that's that got to be good, right? Sleep. That's alright, but my other guys will come through and... Is, is that their counter-attack? Is that what's going on? When, when they get poked, a counter-attack happens. Maybe. Maybe. We'll find out who's got the... Who, who's got the healing on the go. I, I say that. No one's particularly bothered at the moment. Sid, have you got healing on the go? Yeah. The, the guy who's all about healing, Sid. I don't know, maybe, maybe. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Is he gonna... Yeah, okay, I missed. That's good. I thought he was gonna put him back to sleep. I was gonna be like, guys, that is not how we want it to work. Not at all. There we go. Topping up the health. Go, go, Yuffie. Get smacked in the face. That's what it's all about. Build up that limit break. Uh, attack. Anybody? No, the, so the thing is, that doesn't do any damage. You can see my limit bar just doesn't get, get going up there. It's a shame. It's a shame. I really wanted to... Ah. Uh, Really wanted to Yuffie to pull, pull off another Grease Lightning. Oh, I'm about to drop my coaster. Can I have a quick sip of tea? I said sip, I ended up draining the cup. It's amazing how these things happen. Alright, cool. Just about to... Whoa! Gosh darn it! What the hell do they think they're going to do with my rocket? That's Sid's voice, right? <laughs> I'm out of here, Cloud. I'm going to kick those dollar sign, upwards arrow, percent sign, dollar sign, pound symbol, Shinra, right out of my rocket. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, is a hashtag, pound symbol? It used to be a pound. Uh, we wanted to do a thing here, a quick um, Sid with anti-sleep. Where, where's the anti-sleep? There we go. Headband, protects against sleep. Awesome. Cool. We'll, we'll run with that. Probably don't need it at all now. Well, we're probably done fighting the guys that do sleep. We'll find out. We'll find out. Love the fight music in this. Love the fight music. It's all, all like full of energy. Oh, hello. We have ourselves a Turk showdown. You guys ready for this? Y'all ready for this? You again. We will eliminate everyone who gets in the shimmer's way. That, that's not what Rube sounds like. Not even close, right? Okay, I th this is going to be quite a fight. So let's set up our thing here. No, not double cut. Magic, barrier, everybody. Magic, regen for everybody. Oh, Sid's got ultimate. Nice. Uh, maybe Demi 3 all round? Oh, she she's also got a limit to bust out. But that's cool. Demi 3 is just going to, like, totally wreck everybody up. It, th there's no way it's not. No way it's not. Okay, here we go. Yuffie, off you go. Do a Demi 3. Mess everybody up. Uh... Two cut there. Why not? Why not? Grenades all round! Uh, miss, miss Sid. He's just like, well, grenades. I'm walking over this way, buddy. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Okay, Demi 3 laying down. Mm, not, mm, wow, it was some damage anyway. A thousand to everyone that wasn't rude. Rude. Oh, the waiting. The wait. Oh, no. Not, not Yuffie. Yuffie. Yuffie needs to wake up now. She's got, she's got a thing to do. Yuffie, wake up. Yuff, Yuffie, wake up. Is he still regening? Is Sid still regening? I don't see him like glowing red. I'm not sure how this works. Grand Spark. Bam. Sid's like, ow. You, you did that in my face. Why would you do that? Cloud also taking a bit. No. That Grand Spark's quite a lot of damage. Quite a lot of damage. Did he uh, legit not, not attack Yuffie there because she was asleep? I don't know, I don't know if it's because she was asleep, but she, he threw out three attacks. And he hits it twice, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Okay, was that enough damage? Is he going to be like, no. Oh, M barrier. It's a strong choice, but I've only really been hitting you. Maybe I should do some more magic. But, I mean, he's just put an M barrier up, so why would I do that? Can we manipulate? Let's see if we can manipulate. Try it. Go on, Sid. You can do it. I believe in you. No. Okay. Well, I mean, like, honestly, were we ever going to manipulate Root? Oh, he fired lightning at me. And then he's curing himself. He's got a very funny way of attacking. And he magic barred himself so he couldn't, couldn't get enough healing in there. What, what a fool. What a fool. All right. That's cool. No, no fanfare music, though. A little disappointed. I just, I just beat a boss. Dynamite! All right, we got ourselves a new limit from Sid. That that wasn't who I thought was going to be limiting there. They got us. There's only one of you. Uh, okay, let's come in down, check the limit. Sid looks proper ready for swap swapping, but that's just his second limit on the, the first level. Really, I think we need to go out and just have some random fights at some point. Just just go and rock up the place. You, 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 you. why are you here? Rude of the Turks should have been here. 
too bad. Those guys are over there on the floor sleeping where I hit them too hard. Oh man, the Turks being down, done in like that. But I won't let you, th seriously, you are like low level conscript. How are you going to stop me if Rude of the Turks couldn't stop me? What are you doing? These guys just want to die. These guys just want to die. Rebel cut. Grease lightning. Water wave. Seriously, why would you do that? Like water? It's the only one that could actually do me any damage, I suppose. Um, okay. Let's see what the Grease Lightning does. Is that enough to kill him? Bam! Slash! 3,000 points of doubt. Single hit, man. Single hit. I mean, it was a limit, but I mean, it's still just a single hit. No, no, no materia mastering there. That's a bit of a shame. Yeah, oh, you got any stuff? Erg. No, you got any stuff? Erg. But I want your stuff. Erg. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go through here. Yo, who's in charge? Mm hmm. Hmm. Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Uh, hey, just when I thought, uh, just when I thought something was going on, you come back. Oh, oh, you're saying Sid's the reason nothing's going on? Oh, listen to me, Captain. We're gonna launch this rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> We're gonna load up meteor bomb, uh, a materia bomb, and and blow up meteor. Our rocket's gonna save the planet. Ugh, this man is so cool. <laughs> Wait a wait a whoa wait a minute. Shut up! Just shut up! <laughs> How's the rocket? What's going on? It's pretty much okay, but uh, we plan to run it into the meteor on autopilot. But the most important device is broken. Broken? How's the repair going? Shearer's doing it. Oh great! What a bunch of wizards you guys are. She's gonna take a hundred years. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll take over. So don't worry about the autopilot. Hey, go ahead. Go and tell everybody. All right, Captain. Good luck. Yes, I'm Captain Sid. <laughs> hey, hey, um, Sid. What are you doing, buddy? Uh, there are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside that materia. We really can't just smash it into a rock. We're gonna borrow the powers and save the planet from Sephiroth. You know, the guy who brought the meteor here. We don't have to deal with the meteor. We've got to deal with Sephiroth. There's no way that we can lose the huge materia. Like, you understand that, right? Yeah, I understand. I understand the material is precious. I also understand what you're thinking. But listen, I don't give a rat's bottom about whether this is science or magical power. No, I guess if I had to choose, I'd rather put my money on science. Humans only used to walk around on the ground, but now they can fly. And finally, we're about to go into outer space. Science is a power created and developed by humans, and scientists just might be what saves this planet. Yeah, scratch my nose. I was able to earn my living thanks to science. So to me, there's nothing greater. Now quit your worrying about whether Shinra's gonna do. I don't want to regret not having done something later. But, 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 but Sid! Shut the hell up! I don't want to hear it. All right, time to get to work. Anyone who ain't involved, get the hell out of here. What, what, what's going on? No, my, my manly voice. Hey, hey! Palmer, what the hell are you doing? They said they'd finish repairing the autopilot, so I launched it. Gosh darn it, Shira. Why'd they pick today to get fast? Damn, won't even budge. It's completely locked up. Hey, 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 almost liftoff. What the? No, no countdown? Just don't seem the same without it. Hey, hey, hey. Blast off. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, oh there is a count. Look, actual countdown in numbers. One, zero. Blast off. Yeah. Remember those guys I was talking about down below where I was like, God, you cannot stand here? I, th I think they're just finding out why they cannot stand there. You guys remember the frog from that shuttle launch? They go, boo! It's, it's one of those. <laughs> one of those underway. But, rockets underway! Woo! Oh, and off it goes. The exhaust vent totally choked me up there. Oh, oh. But off to space. Off to save the planet from Meteor. Apart from we want the stuff that we're going to use to save the planet. I'm not sure how this is going to play out, actually, guys. Um, like We want the stuff from here. I'll be like, I don't even remember this bit of storyline. I finally made it. Out of space. I'm proud for you, Sid. You got into space. You are the first man in space apart from Cloud and Yuffie. Um, let's see. How's the course set? Blip, 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 beep, 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 beep. Pressing buttons, lighting up lights. Yep, it's headed for a collision with Meteor. 
Hey! <laughs> hey, old man, do something! <laughs> that's, that's Palmer's voice, not Yuffie. Uh, blip, blop, blip, blip, blop, kick it. That damn Palmer went out of his way to lock the autopilot device. We might not be able to change the course. Hey, so, is it the end? We're gonna die? Huh, <laughs> what the hell are you saying? You're so young, don't give up so easily. We're not gonna crash into Meteor. Are we not? Uh, uh, just watch. But it, it really looks like we're flying out of Sid. I keep an escape pod on this rocket just for emergencies like the Really? First rocket that's ever been built, you put an escape pod on just in case we're getting going on a collision course for Meteor. Alright, well there's a good 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 timing there, dude. Good timing. I suppose it's good that we had it. I deciphered the lock code on the escape pod. We'll bail right before we crash into Meteor. Okay, that's cool. When when do we do that? Uh, what, yeah, what, what are we going to do with the huge materia? If you don't want it, maybe, um, maybe you could give it to, to me? <coughs> um, if you want the materia, do whatever you want. The materia should be, uh, there after you climb that ladder. Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> I know what I said a minute ago. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> but maybe all that I really wanted was just to get into outer space. I mean, like, we're not really in outer space. We're kind of still at, like, low Earth orbit or whatever. So why don't you do whatever you think is right? All right, let's let's do what's right. Let's, hmm? what? hey, hey, Cloud? Yeah, buddy? Yeah. If you're going to get the materia, it's that way. Oh, really? There's a, there's a thing over here. Look at this doorway. Okay, I didn't even know this existed. Alright, let's go. We're going up, we're going down. We're shaking it all around. We're going up, it turns out. Huh, I finally found the huge materia. Yes, you found it. Well done, Cloud. It wasn't at all a series of like... Oh, no, I didn't want to go down there. Oh, ah, okay, well, it's going in. Well, then whatever. It took, I was going to be like, yeah, it wasn't at all like Shinra that made it and moved it around, and then you just heard some stuff, and yeah. But no, all right, fine. Instructions on the lock can only be opened if we enter the passcode from this control panel. The passcode from this control panel. Okay, let's do this. There is a control panel. Try and operate, of course. What, what, what are we going to do? Just say no? Enter the passcode. Oh, I don't know. Um, B-Y-X-A. Hey, Cloud, you know how to use this, right? No. Every time it says enter passcode, push OK, cancel, menu, or switch. That's a very awkward way of doing it. If you punch the right code, you will unlock and you can get the huge materia. So, what order am I supposed to put the passcode in? Yeah, come on, Sid. What's the code, man? I don't know. Just try and punch in the right code randomly. Are you kidding me? All right, fine. Let's, do, let's try this. Um, menu, cancel, switch, OK. Input error. An authorized user identified. Protection system will activate in three minutes. You what? Seems like you missed the code. If we don't enter the correct passcode before the protection system activates, we won't be able to get into the materia. Okay, enter passcode. Um, menu. I'm going to go round in circles, I think. Oh, no. Oh, well, we did that wrong. Uh, I heard there's a passcode only the top people in Shinra know. We probably have to enter that and try and enter some codes while I try and remember that passcode. Okay. Uh, so I just... Uh, menu. Switch. Cancel. Okay. No, the first code wasn't switch. Well, I didn't press switch first. Menu. Okay. Cancel. Switch. No, the first code wasn't switch. I didn't press switch. I finished with switch. Okay. Let's just let's just look. menu. Okay. No, that was cancel. Sorry. Switch. Okay. No, the second one wasn't cancel. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. Round in circles. Uh, is that is that good? Uh, no, the first one wasn't switched. Why are you telling me the same stuff all the time? Uh, okay, cancel menu switch that way. Uh, did you press menu? I'm pretty sure I did. I really did press menu. Two, three, four. Two minutes left. I'm pretty sure the last code wasn't menu. No, maybe it was cancel. That that's not helpful. That's not helpful. Okay, switch menu cancel. Uh, the second one's not menu, okay. Um, that one, cancel, okay. The second one's not menu, I'm sure of it. Well, that, that's very good, but let's just carry on pushing. But, oh, I pressed the same twice there. Um, give me a, I can't remember. One, two, three. Come on, Sid, I need more information than this, buddy. Uh, some more time. You don't have time, man. You don't have time, and I don't know which order I haven't done. Uh, no, code three wasn't, uh, number three was cancel. Okay, I can do that. One, two, 
cancel. Okay. Uh, did you use menu? Okay, let's start with menu, cancel. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. One minute left. I'm pretty sure the last code was menu or was it cancel? One, two, three, four. No, I, I, I really don't know. What? <laughs> okay, fine. I don't. I, don't um, I pressed B X A A. I pressed the same one twice. I thought I'd messed it up. Passcode confirmed. Identified identified as an authorized unit. Unlock. So wait, what was that? Okay, switch. Cancel. Cancel. All right. Fine. That's a thing. Uh, all right, cloud. It's unlocked. Yep. My great advice saved the day. Sure, sure it did. Said yeah. It was totally you. It wasn't me pressing cancel instead of menu. Menu wasn't even in there. Sid said press menu. The menu wasn't even in there. What? Receive key item. Huge material. All right, let's get out of here. We've got like less than three minutes, right? I, 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 I don't know how much time we got. Let's, let's get out of here. Let's get going. Where is the escape pod? He, he was playing with stuff over here, right? Are we, are we leaving this way? Sid, I really need an escape pod, buddy. Is it down here? Is this the engine room? This looks a lot like the room we just left. Stop pressing OK to get on men on ladders. Let's get. Whoa, buddy! What is she doing here? Is she is she really back? Damn! My, my leg! My leg's stuck in the debris. Sid, I'm gonna help you, boy. I'm gonna help you. I can't budget by myself. Don't worry about me. Hurry up and go. If you don't hurry, a rocket's gonna crash in the meteor. I can't go without my friends. It's this fumes. <laughs> you idiot! No time to worry about other people. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do whatever I can, buddy. Can't heave off. You're stupid. You're really stupid. You know that. Tank number eight blew up. So tank number eight really was malfunctioning. Ah, Shira, I was wrong. You were right. Wow, Sid, growth moment right there. But this isn't the end for me. Don't say that, Sid. Oh, sorry. Don't say that, Sid. Oh, she's here. Shira? I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. Ah, oh, you stupid woman. Sid, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Did, we, did it work? Can we all get in? The escape pod is this way. Please hurry. All right. Uh, where's Sid? <laughs> did, we, did, we, did we get him out? Yeah, we got Sid out. Awesome. Hurry. I'm going to detach the escape pod. But hey, Shira, does, does this pod really fly? I'll be okay. I've checked it. It'll be okay. I've checked it. And I'm relieved. Thank. Did he? Did he? Did he wee himself? <laughs> okay, in we go. Let's let's fly. That is quite the looking rocket, isn't it? Hey, where's this? Where's this thing's propulsion unit? Question mark. Oh, there we go. It it got thrown right. That's that's how propulsion works. Woo wee! Out in space. So this is out of space. Why would they put such a big window? Man. It's the real thing. I'm really here in outer space. Yep, Sid. Do you want to sit down now? So long, Shinra number 26. What, whatever, whatever happened to the first 25? I mean, 26 different different permutations to try and get up into orbit. That's that's crazy. That is crazy. Where are we coming back down as well? Are we literally coming down on top of Rocket Town? Because that would be hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. All right, here we go. We're going to crash the rocket in the meteor. Gonna Bruce Willis this. Oh, Ben Affleck is not this guy's favorite hydro. <gasps> oh, it hit the meteor! Look at the flash! I mean, what? What? There's no, there's no huge material in there. So what? What made the big boom? You know what I'm saying? What made the big boom? Also, the hard. You know, he's a good man. He's a good man. Everyone's like, yeah, we did it. We smashed the thing into the rock. Woo! Is that good enough? Is it good enough? That's the question. Like, surely that would have just pushed it out of the way a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just pushed it out of the way. No. Everyone's looking around as if they're confused. Are you confused? No. It's being held together by the power of some sort of crazy magic thing, I think. There are, there's electricity underway, so I can only assume it's crazy magic things. Is there, like... A rich core in the middle of its like soft gooey outside. Is that the? That's not the way things normally are. You know, normally it's a soft gooey core on the, the hard exterior. 
Hmm. We broke it. No. We shake our head because it didn't go quite as expected, guys. It didn't happen like we wanted it to happen. Well, it didn't happen like Shinra wanted it to happen. Kind of happened like we wanted it to happen. We, we, we got the stuff right. No! I'm not sure if we did the right thing. i got to be honest here, guys. Uh, Rufus and the others' plans was a failure. Only because we stole, like, the warhead. It's true. It, it's really true. We are the bad guys here. What a bust. I kind of hoped it'd work, said Barrett. Oh, we've been bothering them as, as much as we can. But there ain't no other way. Wonder if we've been wrong all this time. Uh-uh, we gotta go fight Sephiroth. Makes you worry, doesn't it? It does. It really does. Wor don't worry. Think. I mean, that is the way to do it. Yes, yeah, don't, don't worry about stuff. Just think about it. Hey, the girl's right. You start worrying and there's no stopping it. Things are just gonna start falling apart and getting worse and worse. Yeah, man. You're pretty damn optimistic. You up to sight? Yeah, I've been thinking about this and that. All the time we've been up here looking at the planet... I've been thinking even when we were floating in the ocean in that escape pod. I've, uh, I've been thinking too about the universe, the planet, the ocean. How wide and big, no matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. Maybe you're right. But I came up with something different. Yeah, man. I always thought this planet was so huge. But looking at it from space, I realized it's quite small. We're just floating in the dark. Kind of makes you feel powerless. On top of that, it's got Sephiroth festering around inside like a sickness. Festering. That's why I say the planet's still a kid. A little kid that's sick and trembling in the middle of this huge universe. Someone's got to protect it. You follow me? That someone is us. Sid, that, that's beautiful. Yo, Sid, you even got to me. Now what? How are we going to protect the planet from Meteor? Hmm, I'm looking around. I am Sid. Shake my head. <laughs> That's Winnie the Pooh level thinking there. Thinking. I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> Alright, cool. Good work, Sid. Huh? What? What's, what's Red 13 up to? Huh? What are you hiring at? Huh? Did you uh, hear something? No. no I didn't hear nothing. Maybe it's the planet scream. Or is it Meteor? Tiffa's voice got really gruff all of a sudden. Hey, how do we know that this is really the planet scream? Did you forget? Bah, Ber Bergenhagen told us. <laughs> Bergenhagen. Let's go see your grandfather at Cosmo Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something that would be helpful. I'm sure it would. Do we need to swap Sid out for, for Red 13 now? Is that the question? But anyway, with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to go see Bergenhagen, it turns out. Off to Cosmo Canyon. Maybe we'll do some other stuff on the way. I don't know. Maybe we'll try and get a chocobo or, or some stuff like that. I don't know. But thank you very much for a job well done, guys. I will see you next time when we're going to do that. Bye! Let's do that one first.